How you doing? Uh, my name is Hamish. Uh, that's my back name, but a lot of people sometimes uh, they, uh, they like to call me um, Lungis. And Lungis is somebody who fix things, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who fix things. So now, let's get started with this question. So the question here, they say, uh, this is a question right here, but I don't want to waste a lot of time draw this frame right here because it's going to take a lot of time. So I draw, so this is a question up there, from here, up there. So consider the following table, and then, so they give item, this item A, item B. So the price, this is, uh, this is going to be the base, the base price, you know what I'm saying? They say here, calculate the uh, like spare price for 2000 using 2000 as a base year. Oh, so 2010 is a base year. It means this is going to be base price or initial price, and this is going to be base quantity. It means 2000, 260 for how much quantity? For how big it is? For 200 quantity for item A. You see? And then for 650. Item B, what does that mean item B? Maybe you want to buy a uh, pencil and pen, so this item. So price of 2050, 2010, but which item? Maybe these are um, books or whatever products, computer or other school accessories, okay? So how much did that cost for item B? 650. So this is a base year according to the information. So they say fine, the large pair price for. So we have a formula, you don't have to waste a lot of time because we got a formula. For large spare price. So the formula is this one. Let me use a red pen. Let's try to use a red pen. So the large spare price formula say uh, P. P. You know what I'm saying? They say P. R L N. That's how you get uh, the large uh, large prayers price. I don't know how to pronounce, but it's okay. Let's go for that. Large prayers price. Large spare price. Whatever you call it. Okay. Equal. To the sum, this meaning sum, sum of all the PN, PN, and then Q naught. I'm gonna explain to you what is PN and Q naught. And then you got sum here also of P naught initial and then quantity naught, and then after you multiply by 100. So this is a formula we're gonna use to find the large pair price for 2012 using 2010 as a base year. So now let's go. So for the table, they're not gonna give you this. You don't want to have to draw. So when you draw the table, let me just erase this quickly. Quick. So your table, let's say you don't know nothing yet. I'm just assuming. So that should make a lot of sense. So when you draw your table, you have to look at your formula. So we need PN and P, uh, uh, Q naught and the P naught, Q naught. Oh, what does that mean? When you say naught, it's like initial or base or initial. So PN for this case means the final. But a P note, for example, P note, P note is going to be the price of base year. You see what I'm saying? So we want to say, uh, and then Q note means note is like the base, and then N is like that year after. So this is when you say P N means the price of 2012. When you say, for example, but we don't have a Q N here. Okay, let me write this. This is a base year, right? So base year, base is like initial. So we're going to say this is going to be is price. So we're going to say P note. And this is a quantity part of the base year because they say base year is 2010. So this is going to be P naught. You know what I'm saying? Now we come here. Now price of 2012. So this is a base. The other one which is not base. This is a price, right? So say PN. And this is a quantity, right? So say QN. So now you want to come to your formula and then get this. So we want to get uh, first and foremost right P naught, Q naught. Okay, so we want to say here uh, price naught. So this is going to be price naught. But this is base year, right? Start with the base year. 2010, P naught, and then here say quantity naught. Now come to 2012, this P naught, Q naught, and then come to PN, make the price of other year, and then go to quantity N. So you go with this flow. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, get this stuff. This is sum. What is sum? PN and Q naught. When there's no sign, mean there's a multiplication. So get sum of all these PN and Q naught. So we're going to say this is going to give us P, either you can start with this or you can start with that, whichever you want. Okay, let's just start with P naught, Q naught. So let's start with P naught and Q naught. When there's no signs, means there's a multiplication. But you want to get some, means get all of them and then add them. Now we go for item A. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for the second one, it's going to be P naught and Q naught. So it's going to be P naught times Q naught. Because you go with your formula. So if you go to the other one, it's going to be another formula. So you construct the formula based. You construct this table based on this formula. See, now let's go. P naught, we got 260. Q naught, quantity naught, this is for quantity A. 2000. 
Uh, two, 200, 200, 200, excuse me, okay. For B, B, 250, and then Q naught means quantity of initial 650. Now we come here, PN, what is PN? Means price of final year or the year which is after. 550, 520, and then 380, this is going to be 265, and that one is 350. Now we go. Take P naught times Q naught. P naught times Q naught, what does that mean? P naught times Q naught means this times this. Oh, so I'm going to say two. You can plug in the calculator straight or you can just show here, okay? 260 times 200. Plug in the calculator, that one, which is going to give you 5200. 5200. Now we come for this one. This one times that one. So you say 250, because it's P naught, Q naught. P naught, Q naught. 250 times 650. And this is going to give us uh, 162,500. 162,500. Okay, so we've done that. Now we go for PN, Q0. What is PN? PN and Q0. PN times Q0 means this time that one. Okay, so 520 by this product A, right? Product A. So 520 times 200. Okay, and this is going to give us uh, 10,400. 10, 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we go for the next one. So now, <coughs> P and Q naught again for the uh, B. So 2, 6, 5 times 650. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> I'm doing the wrong one. My apologies. So right here. So 265 times 650. Okay. And this is going to give us uh, 172250. 172250. So we got all of them. But I wanted to say here, get some. This sum meaning. Take all these add together, I mean this and this, add them together, that means sum. So when you add them together, it's going to, this meaning sum. Sum of P naught, Q naught. Or P naught and Q naught equal. So take this one, add with that. When you add them together, it's going to give you 214. 214 and then 500. So this sum of P naught, Q naught. Now we want to get sum. Sum of P N Q N. Sum of P N Q N is going to give you a... Uh, 276, 276, uh, 250. Okay, so we have this, which is this one, and we have this one, and they will multiply by 100. So we're going to say now, so we're going to say we finish up. So let me make a space here and finish up because the space is very, very small. So we're going to say, let's get it up. So we're done with everything, okay? That's what we say, this is the total. So we're going to say uh, what we're looking for. Price uh, equal sum of P and Q naught. Sum of P and Q naught, which equal 276, 276, 215 over, uh, okay, over this one. Sum of P naught Q naught, which is 21, 21, 450. And then what we do, we multiply by 100. And then final answer is going to be, you plug in the calculator, and then let's see. The final answer. If you plug in the calculator, the final answer is going to be, uh, man, 128.76. 128.76. So, 128.76. And this is the, uh, the large prayer price for 2020 using the base 2010. So, that's how you do, man. If you face out my channel and try to share this video to a lot of people, you know, so thanks a lot, man. And share, like, subscribe, and see you very soon. Peace. I'm out.